everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elemental Sword, and in today's video, we are going to be playing Roblox Beast Storm. This is not this is not Minecraft. Indeed, it is not. It it just isn't Minecraft. It's Roblox Beast Storm. This is going to be a new season slash episodes where I give you tutorials on how to become a better Roblox Beast Storm player. Let's get right into the video. Video guys by the title you guys probably know that I'm going to teach you how to get more pollen and more honey to one field that you go to just one field and it's actually quite simple it's actually two ways you can do it and in that one way there's actually two ways to do that one way and then in that one way the so let's get into the video so the first method to uh, actually um, getting these field boosts is called the wind shrine if I can actually get up here um, this guy right here He's called the Wind Shrine, right? And the Wind Shrine is located in the 35 area. And this is kind of like a, a, a late game area to be uh, for players. So this is the Wind Shrine, right? You donate things to it. It gives you things back, right? So if we click E, right? Okay, sorry. Um, I actually just used this. But if you use the Wind Shrine, you uh, give it some things. Like let's say you give it one jelly bean. It is most likely going to... Um, give you some field boost or some field boost times winds like i just used the wind shrine a few minutes ago and it gave me some field winds times too right so this is a uh field boost right it's time it has winds though which means it gives you the cloud right and it helps you collect pollen and honey faster so this says times two right times two meaning that it is better than times one and it gives you more pollen and honey so that's the first method of getting more pollen and honey per field you go to. So now the second method is to go to these HQs down here, right? So this red HQ has one and it, it's called this um, booster, right? The field booster. So uh, this uh, red HQ is located right above the sunflower seed and right next to the rose field. So you go inside of it and you like you stand into this booster and you click E to get your red field boost. Now, this red field booster will only give you the boost for red field, meaning strawberry, rose, etc. Right? So in this case, it gave me strawberry field boost times one. Now that's the default one, right? Plus 100% strawberry field pollen. So that means it's going to give you more pollen, right? So if you were to go to a strawberry field, you can see that over here, you can see these little uh, white dots coming out of it. That means that has field boost. Now, you might not notice that it has field boost um, and a honey storm just came on. I'll be right back in a second. So like I was saying, you will see these white dots coming out of here, right? So that indicates that you have a field boost. Now, if you don't know you have a field boost, you can't even see if it's up there or not on the top, then you can go looking around in the field and see those white dots. They will always be there if you ever have a field boost. Now, they won't be there if you don't. Like if we come over to the spider field, you don't see the white dots because that does not have, I do not have that specific field boost. Now, if somebody else has the field boost, you also won't see it on their field boost uh, field because it's only for them. They only have it and it's only for them. They can only see it. So now let's go on to the next method. And in the next method, guys, they are called field dice, right? And you get these field dice from killing the, uh, the beetle, the um, tunnel bear, completing certain quests, getting them from aphids, sometimes from your buddy. Um, and they basically, when you roll them, they can give you any field boost on the whole map. So, like, as you can see in my hotbar down here, number six, if I click number six, it will roll the dice for me, and I got pineapple times one. That means the default pineapple boost, right? So, right now, I have the pineapple uh, pineapple patch boost. So, if I were to go to pineapple patch, I would see those white dots, and I would get more pollen and honey. All right, guys, and the final last one to making a lots of honey is to join the bee swarm club. Now, when you join the base sort of club, you get some perks, right? You get to use this honey dispenser, right? And every time you use it, it increases the amount of honey. So, like there, I got plus 42,200 honey, right? So, keep doing that. It's every hour, 
and it's a pretty good thing if you keep grinding and grinding and grinding it. And um, another thing when you join the club, and if you come over to uh, the pineapple patch over here, and you come to the shop over here, you see where it says club? You can use this treat dispenser, right? And um, it's one every hour, like the same thing, and you also get honey for it too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it really helped you because I had a lot of time struggling with this. You know, I'm I'm like I would call myself a mid-level player um cuz I have um a quite a bit of honey and I have everything in the Mondo shop. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you didn't like the video, make sure to hit that dislike down below. It's up to you guys. And if you guys want to hit that red subscribe button and then hit that bell so you can get notified whenever I post um, maybe a Bee Swarm tutorial or maybe a Minecraft tutorial or just playing, playing games, then hit that notification button. And I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye!